Hey guys, this is a bit of Team Walking 2. Let's discuss The Walking Dead. This is uh, Season 3, Episode 4, so... Both T-Dog and Lori died, which is really unfortunate, I, I think, that this was the first episode where two of the main characters actually die in the same episode, so... Um, I was kind of surprised that Andrew actually survived uh, Episode 2 because that... Uh, well, he was on the courtyard or whatever, and uh, you could hear him uh, getting ripped apart by walkers, but uh, I'm thinking that uh, once he must have uh, climbed up to safety, he just uh, made kind of fake yell to, to make it sound like he died to everybody else, so um, nobody would uh, actually think about him when he was uh, just kind of walking around and uh, making trouble for everybody else, so... Um, that's uh, just a theory, but I guess his plan for revenge on Rick just uh, backfired for him. Okay, gotta say this. Um, I didn't think that the way his first name was pronounced was uh, Iron E. I thought it was Iron. Um, for uh, Iron E. Uh, Singleton. Because um, uh, all the letters of uh, his first name were capital letters when uh to do the credits at the beginning of uh, each episode, so I thought uh, his first name was Iron instead of uh, Irony, so um, if he hears this, um, he, I'm pretty sure he probably won't, but um, if he does, you know, uh, my apologies, so. But I do get to say that uh, the way that T-Dog went out, he is the man. I mean, well, I guess he was, so, I mean... Getting bit by Walker, and uh, I thought uh, when he was running away with Carol, um, he was just going to turn and become another threat for her, but he actually saved her, um, and, you know, got ripped apart and eaten in the process. Um, I do think that uh, when the Walker ripped out his throat, um, that was uh, kind of brutal. Um, you know, the entire thing was... Uh, not exactly uh, the best thing that could have happened, but um, I kind of thought that that particularly was uh, really brutal for anybody to go through. So, thing I don't understand is that uh, when Rick and the other people in the group actually found his body, um, why didn't uh, they stab it in the head? Um, I I don't know. Um, Maybe that's uh, going to be kind of an issue or whatever uh, in the next episode, but uh, they're just dragging his body out um, to, like, burn it or whatever. Uh, maybe it'll kind of come back to life. Um, won't be able to do anything, but, um, you know, uh, maybe it'll at least uh, start snapping at them or whatever. So, um, I think I mentioned this before, but... Um, uh, the nurse in the very first episode, um, the one that was, uh, just a head and a skeleton, um, the first one that, uh, Rick actually saw, um, I'm kind of wondering if, uh, maybe, uh, uh, th she was, uh, you know, quote, alive or, um, dead alive or whatever, um, and, uh, basically her zombified remains were, uh, we're just lying down for basically eternity, so... Eh, I don't know. I, I just think uh, that would uh, really suck. And that that just sticks in my head so much. And when Lori gave birth, um... I know I'm no doctor, but, um... I don't know why they made the C-section uh, scar so prominent, um... I've actually seen my sister's belly, um, and my mom's belly, uh, whenever, like, they worn bathing suits or whatever, so, um, and I can tell you, um, their C-section scars have not been that pronounced. That wide, but definitely not that thick, and, because a scalpel is not going to do that much damage, I think, um, or maybe they did, um, a faded sharpie thing to have the Maggie character actually have a line to follow, so. I am pretty sure that Merle has just signed his own death warrant. Um, 
when the governor actually said to him that uh, after a while he won't actually help um, find his brother and stuff uh, once they got a little more information. Um, you know, right then, I thought yeah, he was actually going to kill him in that episode, but um, might be saving it for a little bit later because uh, it's another person that he doesn't really know, doesn't have any loyalty to him or, or anything like that, so... I'm also kind of wondering if he's like an escape convict, um, because I'm thinking that uh, once they actually see each other, like uh, the main group that's uh, in the prison and uh, the people in Woodbury, when uh, they kind of uh, meet up and stuff, um, one of the prisoners that's now part of the group, uh, they'll actually recognize him and uh, they'll say to Rick or whatever, you know, hey, he used to be here at that. He's a really bad guy. We we don't want anything to do with him at all, um, because he's just gonna kill us the first uh, chance that he gets. So I'm also kind of wondering um, if uh, he is responsible for his wife and his daughter's deaths. It uh, wasn't really a car accident, like you said. So, like maybe the reason that he's keeping uh, the subject heads. Uh, in a room full of aquariums is that kind of a way to, to actually uh, look deep into a soul and uh, be kind of like, you know, hey, I'm a real uh, real bad guy and stuff. I mean, I out and out um, killed my wife and my daughter before on this entire thing started, or maybe it was uh, something even worse than that where I uh, just kind of shoved them uh, in the ways of, uh, like, attacking zombies or whatever so that he could actually get away. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Um, just kind of a theory, I guess, but... I'm thinking about uh, just moving this to Xbox Live, um, recording the audio from that. Um, then uh, I could get, like, a whole bunch of people uh, talking, at least hopefully, um, and uh, then what I do is... Uh, just the next day, um, post, uh, the actual conversation that we all had, um, uh, for people who, uh, don't have Xboxes or whatever, uh, just so that they could, uh, actually, uh, leave, like, written comments and stuff, so, um, uh, just kind of a thought, but, uh, is, is something that, uh, you know, hey, if, uh, you guys think, uh, that's the way to go, then, uh, then please tell me, so. Anyways, uh, I'm going to sign off. This is episode 15. You've been watching Let's Discuss the Walking Dead. This is a bit for season 3, episode 4. And uh, I will see you next week.